Hi everybody, this is Victor and today I'm replacing valve cover gasket on my 2003 Nissan Altima. I noticed that oil started seeping through the gasket causing a lot of dirt and burning smell under the hood. So let's get started. First remove these four bolts and take out the engine cover. Next remove four bolts holding the ignition coils. You may also remove these two bolts. This will give you more flexibility when you will be taking out the valve cover. Next, take out all four ignition coils. There are four gaskets around the spark plug wells, which also need to be replaced. In my case, one of the gaskets was leaking and I found engine oil inside the tube, which eventually would cause the cylinder misfire. Make sure you don't take out the spark plug, otherwise oil will get inside the cylinder. You can use a brake cleaner, compressed air and a rag to clean oil out of the tube. Also remove oil from the inside and outside of the wire boot. Replace it if it got bloated or damaged because of the oil. Next we are going to disconnect the breather hose the ignition coils wiring and the PCV valve hose. Now we are ready to remove 10 bolts holding the engine cover. And now, finally take out the engine cover itself. Next, we are going to remove the old gasket. You will also notice there is old gasket maker in both corners on the right side. These are the only two spots where you have to apply the gasket maker. Unfortunately on this model the spark plug well gaskets are embedded into the valve cover and there is no way to replace them separately. If one of the gaskets is leaking you would have to replace the whole valve cover. As a temporary fix you can try to apply some gasket maker around the tube after you install the valve cover. So here's what you're gonna need. A valve cover with spark plug well gaskets and the PCV valve, the valve cover gasket, and gasket silicone maker. You don't have to do this step, but I'm gonna go ahead and apply a small bead of silicone gasket maker into the groove for the valve cover gasket, just to give it an extra layer of protection. If you decided to keep your old valve cover, make sure to clean it carefully with a brake cleaner, before you install the valve cover gasket. 
it's also a good idea to replace the PCV valve on it. Now install the valve cover gasket into the groove. Once again, these two joints, where the surface is not flat, are the only two spots where you have to apply the gasket maker. Also, even though it's not necessary, I'm going to apply the gasket maker throughout the perimeter just to give it some extra protection. Before you do that, make sure to remove the old gasket maker and carefully clean up the surface with a brake cleaner. Carefully spread the gasket maker into a thin layer and make sure it doesn't get inside of the engine block. Install the new valve cover with the gasket and align it with holes for the bolts. Finger tighten the bolts just until the gasket maker begins to squeeze out. Allow it to dry for one hour before you continue. Next we are going to be using a torque ratchet to tighten the bolts to the factory specifications. Make sure you don't over tighten the bolts. Set the torque to the desired value and stop when the ratchet clicks. Tighten the bolts in the numerical order as shown here, making your way from the center to the edges. Do it in two steps according to the factory torque specifications. After you are done, reconnect both hoses and ignition coils wiring. Next, put back all the ignition coils. Now replace the rest of the bolts. And finally, replace the engine cover. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button, leave your comments below, and subscribe for future videos.